His mother is Germany's best-known noblewoman. Prince Albert von Thurn Und Taxis, on the other hand, is rarely in the public eye. What is clear, however, is that the aristocrat does not yet have an heir. Rich, aristocratic and supposedly still up for grabs, Prince Albert von Thurn Und Taxis is considered one of the most sought-after bachelors in Europe. Today, June 24, 2023, he will turn 40, and with it the pressure on the head of the well-known Regensburg family dynasty is increasing. For he still has no heir to produce. Albert von Thurn Und Taxis needs a son. In the princely house, male succession applies. So Albert also came before his older sisters Maria Theresa, 42, and Elizabeth, 41. He was just seven years young when his father Johannes von Thurn Und Taxis, 1926-1990, died. His young widow, Albert's mother, took over the administration of the entire estate. Gloria von Thurn Und Taxis, 63, thus went from being the shrill, punk princess to an entrepreneur. In addition to three children, she suddenly had to manage the business. The prince is a good match. The noble family became rich as the inventors of the modern postal system and as one of the largest private landowners in Germany. Five castles as well as many companies belong to the Thurn and Taxis fortune. The headquarters, Schloss St. Emmeram in Regensburg, with more than 500 rooms, is larger than Buckingham Palace in London. Princess Gloria opened large parts of it to the public and introduced events such as the Palace Festival and the Christmas Market to generate additional revenue. Long considered Germany's youngest billionaire, Albert was first listed in the Forbes list of the world's richest people when he was just eight years old. In 2021, Forbes estimated his fortune at $1.5 billion. Since November, he also holds a doctorate degree. Managing such a company and keeping it on track economically is a mammoth task. Albert's sister Elizabeth once spoke to the Sedeutsche Zeitung about how such an inheritance is not just a gift, it also brings with it a lot of responsibility and can be an enormous burden. She herself had always wanted to get away from Regensburg and do her own thing. And I wouldn't know what to do with a castle either. Albert also spent a lot of time far away. He completed his abitur at the German school in Rome, and from 2004 to 2008, he studied economics and theology in Edinburgh. He then trained as a financial expert in Zurich. After that he studied philosophy in Rome. He received his doctorate on November 7, 2022, and can now officially call himself Dr. Prinz von Thurn und Taxis. His doctoral thesis is entitled Rational Nature or Wishful Thinking? Freedom and Rationality in Aquinas and Their Medieval Critique. The siblings are closely bonded and are also said to regularly go on vacation together. Albert is considered a family man, but he has not yet established a family of his own. On the few official occasions when he does show up, he usually comes with his mother. As shrill as his mother appeared in her first years as princess in the 1980s, Albert acts as inconspicuous. He was sometimes even mocked as Prince Invisible. His mother continued to run the business after he came of age in 2001, leaving him free to pursue his extensive professional career and private interests. He loves racing, he has not yet had an official girlfriend. He is said to still spend a lot of time in Rome, but exactly what he does there after his doctorate is not known. He has often been seen at racing events in recent years. The prince discovered this passion at the age of 17, and in 2010, he won the championship title in the Adak GT Masters in a Lamborghini. Even at a more advanced age, the 12th Prince of Thurn and Taxis still enjoys sitting in a racing car. Just two months ago, he took part in the Levanto Rally in Wolfsburg, Austria. On Instagram, he shared snapshots of his great hobby every now and then until 2021. However, the prince has never presented a woman at his side. Allegedly, he once had a relationship of several years with the daughter of an Austrian building contractor. But this has never been officially confirmed. In 2015, 
Princess Gloria spoke in an RTL interview about a potential daughter-in-law. I wish him a really happy marriage and simply the best woman in the world. She hopes for a partner who loves him and who also takes good care of him and looks after him. Previously, she had gladly emphasized that she wanted a Catholic high noblewoman at Albert's side. On the occasion of the 40th birthday, the topic could now become more present for the family again, after all, there is the important question of what the future of the Thurn Uendi Taxi's family will look like.